Hello there. All right, so I'm on a long trip to the beach, about four hours, but I'm gonna break it up and stop at some stores and see if I can find some cool soccer jerseys along the way. So let's go ahead and see if we can find any. So I'm at my first stop now. I'm at a Ross and who knows if we'll find anything, but let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so at that store, they only had, this is Ross, by the way, Ross Dress for Less. Uh, they only had a long sleeve Seattle Sounders jersey in a size small, which it would fit, it would fit tight. But also, this, if, because it's long sleeve, the sleeves would be a little too short on me. And then we saw in Atlanta, United, I forgot, what, probably last season's, but it's also long sleeve. It was a really nice white jersey, an extra large, a little too big. Again, long sleeve would just hang out on my wrist. So I passed on it. So let's go ahead now. We're gonna see if I can go to some outlets, Nike, Adidas, and we'll see if we can find some stuff there. So let's get to it. All right, two hours later, I finally made it to the outlets. So let's go ahead and see what they got. So there should be a Nike, um, so there should be a Nike factory store. There should be an Adidas outlet. There's a New Balance, but I highly doubt they'll have anything there. But I also hear there's a, a Jersey store where they sell jerseys from all sports. So let's see if we get any lucky. Let's go find out. So we found nothing at New Balance as I thought. And the Jersey store that I thought about had already closed or they're closed down for good. So no luck there. So we still got Nike, Adidas, and Puma to go. So we're gonna go to Nike now and let's hope I find something. There was absolutely nothing at Nike. I'm very surprised. Normally you can find something, even like if it's like a duffel bag or just, I don't know, something, but there was absolutely nothing. So we're gonna go to Adidas now. Hopefully, hopefully. I usually have good luck at Adidas, so let's go ahead and check it out now. So Adidas had some stuff, but it was mainly United stuff, which obviously I don't care about. There was some DC United stuff, which was nice, but it was all full price, $90. You know, the whole point is trying to get some cheap stuff that wasn't cheap. So, didn't get anything. So Puma will be my last stop in this outlet. Hopefully we score. <laughs> All right, so Puma was a definite winner. But yeah, that was weird. The uh, outlet was pretty much dead. There was only Puma that had good soccer stuff. I mean, Adidas had some stuff, but like I said, they were full price, no discount. It was United, like that should be $10 because it's United and they had a horrible season, so. Um, but it is what it is. At least I got some some jerseys here. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a failure. It wasn't a two hour drive for nothing. So now I'm going to see if there's anything else around here that I can check out and see if I can find some more jerseys. And then at the end of my hunt, I will recap all the things that I got. All right, so we'll catch up later. All right, so there was nothing left on the way here. So it was just a boring two hours over here from the outlets. Uh, but on the way back, after my beach vacation is over, I will hit other stores and then hopefully we can find some more stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the beach back there and then we'll do some more hunting in a few days. All right, so vacation is over and I already made a two hour drive to essentially the area where the outlets were when I came on the way to the beach. Uh, I did stop at the outlets again, just to just see if maybe they restocked and stuff, but no, absolutely nothing. So we are now outside a Ross right there. And then there's also a thrift store right in front of me. So I'm feeling hopeful with Ross because normally that you can find some good MLS stuff or even just whatever. I'm not too hopeful with the thrift store, but we will find out, so let's go ahead and check it out. All 
Alright, so we did get something at Ross, so that was good. Uh, now we're gonna go to the thrift store that's right in front of me. It's 100 degrees outside, so I'm not gonna walk. I'm gonna drive my car over there and let's see what they got. And as expected, there was absolutely nothing there. They had video games, so I was hoping to find maybe a FIFA game, but nope, nothing. So I guess we'll continue. All right, so I have arrived to my final stop of this trip, and it's one where they have a Marshall and Ross next to each other. So we're gonna go to Marshall's first and see what they got, and then we're gonna go next door and go to Ross and then see what they got. So let's go check it out. All right, so Marshalls didn't have anything. They just had Barcelona soccer balls, which I guess is not bad, but I don't need that. And that's not what we're looking for. I uh, went over to Ross and we did pick something up. Um, so like I said, that was my final stop for the day. So once I get home and get settled, we'll look through everything that I've got. All right, so I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, we are back. And so as you know, I went to some of the outlets <clears throat> on my drive to the beach. And then on my way back, I went to a few other stores. So, you saw what stores I, I walked into in the order as I was going there and coming back. So now I'm gonna show you in the reverse order of what I got. So the last stop I made was the Marshalls <clears throat> and Ross. Uh, that was two stores together. Um, and I did pick up something at that Ross and it was this DC United jersey from last season. It's a kid's um, extra large. So it was $11.99, which is not bad. And I really got this mainly for my lady so she can wear it. Uh, I do have this jersey already in my size, so I figured I, could, I should get it and then maybe we can share it. Or maybe in my oldest kid, but this might be a little bit too big for him. The next one I picked up was at a, also was at a Ross when I was on my way back. And nothing major, but it was this prime blue Orlando uh, jersey. And I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of the prime blue shirts. Uh, I have a DC United one, but it's the other kind of prime blue that has the orange writing on there. Um, but I still liked it. It was $25. I figured it was a good pickup, so I picked it up. And then there were the outlets where I didn't really find much, uh, but I did find stuff at the Puma store. And I got three things from the Puma store. So starting with the first thing item, um, I found this on a 75% off rack, and this was a Manchester City, of course, uh, training top. And so, of course, it's City. I'm not going to pass it up. And it was $10, $11 after discount. So it's an extra large. It's going to be a little bit big on me, but whatever. It was $10. You can't say no to that. Next up for $22 was this over here. And I was trying to figure out what it was. I was looking it up on Google and whatnot. And all I had to do was just turn it around and just read what it says right there. So this is a Sketch Republic's home jersey. And, you know, for $22, I thought it was a decent pickup. I mean, obviously I have no ties to that country, but I like having national teams uh, jerseys, so figured why not? <clears throat> and then the last thing that I got from the Puma store, which was on a 50% off rack, was this beautiful Marseille jersey. Um, not the biggest Marseille fan, but I do love this shirt. Uh, it was originally $90 and I got it for $45. So a little bit higher than I would have liked, but still decent enough to where I felt like it was worth picking up and a nice little add-on to my collection. And yeah, the jersey hunt didn't go as well as I thought it would be, especially at the outlets. I thought I would find more stuff at different stores, but at least I found a few things. And so it wasn't a total failure, um, but yeah. That was my little hunting adventure while I was going to the beach and coming back from the beach. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you do want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts on the shirts that I picked up. And as always, I will catch you in the next video. Take care, everyone.